Welcome back to Peglin. I am starting with a brand new relic, the Grubby Glove. It makes all attacks pl apply to Spinfection. So first off, what is Spinfection? Well, it's the new name for Poison, which in my opinion is a better name. I think it's catchier, more fun to say. I do like saying Spinfection out loud. And I don't even actually remember the previous one off the top of my head right now. So clearly it just wasn't that. But also, I mean, this relic is really good with the round roll that applies random debuffs after each attack. And now I get an additional two poison. So I could get three poison in a shot, which is 60 guaranteed damage over three turns. Or, you know, I could get other nice effects like brambling them in place or, well, blind one is kind of bad, but the other two effects are really good. So this is one hell of a relic to start with. I'm trying to just farm coins a little bit right now. Just let the spin faction get them. Because you know it's gonna. Oh, the bold orb looks different. It does look more like a bold orb. Oh, I can get three elites on this floor. That's exciting. Knowing that, I'm gonna try bold orb then. It's a fun time. And I think I'll even upgrade it right away. It's a good orb. Well, guess I'm not getting that elite. Actually, I could just pick up a different elite anyway. I just missed out on a treasure chest. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Wow, dude, that 30 free damage. Absolutely incredible. Probably won't even have to resort to bombs here. But I mean, they are there. And they are quite impactful. So I guess they'll be doing cool stuff. The shot will probably kill them no matter what. At least they got decent coinage. I am slated to get a shop eventually, but that doesn't mean I can't just upgrade my boulder to max and carry on. Whoa, a free relic. I'll try unicorn horn. But all three of these are very welcome. This may be the worst of the three, but they're all decent, so I actually don't know. And I got a fight. Well, all right, I'll start with the bold orb, even though most enemies haven't shown up yet. I just want to make sure I get rid of that front guy. And then you target the bat first. You always target the bat, why? Because he flies and he's fast. Fast flyers, no good. Just get him with anything. I do like that even bad shots become fine now. That is nice. I guess I could still bramble in midair. That's cool. All right, well, now I target this dude. And if I hit a bomb, I probably win. Whiff. Oh, I brambled all of them. Cool. All right, well, now I can bomb. Double. Love it. With the way things are going, I could do a crit ball type build. I think it's pretty good. And then I can create a bunch of crits on the board. Sets up good damage. And another fight hit in here. Yeah, I hate to see it. At least I get off of banger starts with a pretty much guaranteed wipe out of everyone on the floor. And a cool refresh. Okay, very good start. Guess I gotta settle for a bat. If I refresh, I'll probably wipe it out. Oh no, with the poison, I definitely will. He does attack first though, so that's a shame. Dag orb's going just about nowhere. Wipe out this bat guy. And one more bomb will seal the deal. Oh, I didn't hit him. Every shot is a crit. What can that do for me? Enough. I'm immune to attack damage while reloading. That will actually come in handy. No, it won't. Darn. I mean, Ek Orb is very, very good. Especially the Grubby Gloves. I kind of want orbs, though, that give Spinfection, but I just don't seem to be getting it. I don't think Ek Orb actually works with my build right now. I'll just go for another Critter Ball. It's just most of my damage dealers kind of stink. Like, if I Echo bad damage, then... I'm not even getting anything good out of it. All right, well, Bold Orb will shine here. There's no doubt about it. I'll make sure it crits. Not much else though. All right, let's get him. No, it still popped out, come on. Ah, uh, well, the good news is the poison should clean him up. Sometimes this hits pegs. This is not one of those times. All right, well, my main damage is just stacking poison. Wow, uh, this is incredible at just bouncing out. How does it do it? Every time, just bounces out. Of, every time it bounces out of the center. How does it do it? The mysteries of life. Well, surely it won't bounce out of the center. <laughs> okay, wait, no. I actually took damage. You've got to be shitting me. 
Well, this elite relic better be good. Yeah, crit fleece, actually. It is good. It works with my build. Now, it is imperative I go right. Oh, the tree. Well, the good news is I can take 7 max HP. Anything good here? Oh, I have turtle. I do like more additional options to choose from. Especially since I'm coming up on an elite fight. The bull. All right, well, you shoot to the right, so you can always preserve that refresh on the left. Okay, another refresh. Can I get a crit up top? I can. Excellent. This is going all too well. I'll let everything be a crit. I'll actually start with the refresh just to make sure I hit it. Was that worth it? Well, I refreshed again, so I guess. Anyways, it is a guaranteed win. Especially crit place. Spintrest payment. Gains plus one, plus two for every 20 coins held when fired. Bro, where was this last fight? Okay, I'm taking the new thing. How's it upgrade? Okay, just more or a better coin increments. Yeah, I'll take it. There's a shop coming up. I'll say for a relic in the shop. Maybe it's good. Duplication potion's really good. Smoke mod's all right, but duplication's great with my build. Come on, give me the chest. Well, so I don't even know if I want to spend coins in the shop. I kind of just want to hoard. Maybe there won't be anything good here. Oh, excavate. Something that's actually good for my deck. And I mean, its relics are good too. Bombaton. I like excavate. It's just a really, really nice orb. I could also remove an orb. I'll spend the money. I, my deck's getting a little too big. So I got about a trillion different synergies going on right now. What I do know is spend trust payment, not good at this moment. I do, however, know that Bulldorb is hot. Ish. It's pretty hot. Oh, nice. Keeping them in place. Exactly what I needed. Right, well, I, I think I'll make pretty quick work at them. Unfortunately, um, they're left at 8 HP. Very sad. I will take your condolences and shove them right up your ugly ass because I think this is just going to be fine. I don't need anybody's condolences. I deal 400 damage to a weak ass enemy. I'm good. Yes, yeah, so I have Duplication Potion. Reorganize is really good with it. Sure, I'll take it. I don't think I'm getting the coin synergy here. Out of these, I'll have enough refreshes. I'll just take 25 max HP. Oh, I actually have coins for a spin trust payment to do something. Too bad it's not enough. All right, so Reorganizer is where it's at. Show me all the crits you can possibly muster. Sure. Maybe I can get multiple crits here. Ooh, I did. Too bad it's just on a lowly stone. I'm right, making good work with poison, though. There's nothing to worry about. Scabrite should just send it. Yeah. Completely debuff them. Make everything a crit. Please and thank you. One HP. Nice. Hold on. All right. Horton coins. So Matriorbshka is really good with this build, yes? However, I don't need it. I'll show you how much I don't need it. Increase hit enemies debuff by two. I think I got to go Reorganizer. Since that's just a heavy synergy with this build. Oh, plus zero, plus four with one fewer refresh is good. I'm just trying to remember. It's Crucible three. So what do I have? I have one less crit right now. Well, if I have a lot of refreshes, defresh potion gets worse. And eventually I will. Consuming Chalice just seems nice with my crit synergy. Oh, what am I thinking? I have crit fleece, duh. You take the Chalice. Up against the wall, yep, that's the perfect enemy. Okay, excellent. Well, I'm already showing absurd crit numbers. I do like also how like crits that are created in place have this nice little hard border around them. Show like, yeah, we're locked in. We're not, we ain't going anywhere. When normal crits and refreshes move, we do not move. Well, this was a fun time. The overkill of the century is here. It's a 412. Okay, don't mind if I do. Ooh, I should have minded. And dude. Okay, Ref nice refresh shot. I really aimed that one. Genius idea to aim it. Fucking hell. Just crit once still alive. What the? 
can he be upgraded any number of times to add plus one plus two interesting another time for now i need better orbs and one of them is reorganizer keep hoarding money if i can help it okay oh right side's got two elites i mean duh oh and a chest with popping gourd in it it's my birthday well, and even though I'm trying to save coins, I think it would make sense to still thin. Well, Complex Claw is really good with Crit Fleece. Hear me out. I actually really like thinning better because, well, two reasons. One, my deck revolves around two orbs, Crit Ball and Reorganizer. I get either of those, and then I can set up the massive damage with the Crit Fleece. When I set up the massive damage with the Crit Fleece, then I will have so much overkill that plus zero, plus one on Complex Claw will not make a difference. So Complex Claw is helpful in the interim period, but I would rather just make the interim period shorter if I could help it. And just like this. I think I'm already off to a great start. And Reorganizer will already kick ass. Doesn't kill, but it does pretty good. I can't complain. 2-7 or a 2-8. You take the 2-8. You better be dead now. I think you're dead. Good. And with this, keep upgrading stuff. You know what? I'll go spin trust payment, max it out. When I eventually, ooh, harvest coins, that'll be nice. Crits also refresh the board. Yeah, that's probably the best one I could ask for. Thank you. Peglin's so kind to me sometimes. Yes, I'll take some shuffled refreshes and crits. Thank you very much. And by shuffled, I mean bonus. All right, it is my civic duty to shoot this whenever I see it. Oh, I was going to say 20 HP is so sad, but it's rounded out beautifully. What do I have to worry about? Thank you, Poison. And yeah, every damage I deal now is really nice. I guess except for this guy. That's all right. Nobody's perfect. Not even Bulldorb. But Bulldorb's pretty damn close to perfect. Double Trouble is so good with this build. Damn it, why do I keep wanting, wanting to take orbs? You know what? I will refuse. Instead, I will build it the Spin Trust Payment because it is new. And plus, I think I could make it work with anything. I might as well make it work with the new thing. This actually has very high potential too because if I keep building up coins, then I'll, you know, have really high damage. I've just got to thin a lot of garbage out of my deck. Well, this is a really nice start already. Well done, Stone. So what's better here, Dag Orb or Reorganizer? Oh, it's Reorganizer. It's just straight up better damage than also Killer Effect. Nice. This guy's easy. Oh, it's another Reorganizer. All right, you take the good orb and then you upgrade the good orb. It's only fair. Stop buying stuff though. Betsy's Hedge makes my Crit Fleece bad. I don't know if I want Pegs refreshing the bombs. I'll just take whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Yeah, if I take Betsy's Hedge, I can say goodbye to the really cool, awesome scaling damage. And trust me, I will be fine without it. I have plenty good of a deck. I don't need the Hedge of having a non-crits. Oh, more crits. Wow, thank you. Anyway, let's build up Reorganizer. Yeah, that's going to the freaking moon. Too bad I don't have Overwhammer. That'd be perfect. Because, yeah, here's the damage. And a 514. That's not half bad. Yep, we get it. I one-shot everything. The enemy's like, don't rub it in. Oh, but I'm going to rub it in. I'm going to rub it in real good. I could have attacked the thing that would have attacked me. But I didn't. Well, this will be a fun rest of the game, no doubt. I have everything I care about the tier three. I want to go left so badly. And okay, enemies don't get their extra turn for my first reload. Now, I guess I do still want to go left. Feed me with relics. I desire to be fed. Oh, this is so sad. I only kill one enemy at a time until the Bulldorb Nation attacks. The perfect setup, the perfect finish, the perfect orb. Could my day get any better than this? 
I almost don't want crit of all because I can't scale damage with it. So I'll take the Excavarit, just to crit like crazy. But it doesn't one shot, so that's very sad. Just okay, spin trust payments in 820. I know that you're a professional. You've got it done. It's all figured out. I'll reload it. They don't do anything to me. How on earth did I not get a crit there? What the hell? That's just impressive. There's so many of them. I don't think I need another reorganizer. I'd rather save money. More refreshing, more refreshing. I need some sort of perk whenever I refresh the board. I mean, I already have healing with every peg I hit, thanks to the corn, so it's not even like, it's not even like refreshing the board causing healing would be a big deal to me. Well, that's going to the moon. If it can hit many pegs, did okay. It is actually surprising how few good things I've hit. You would expect a uh, bold orb to have a little bit more integrity. No, they all just decide to miss everything. It's a 1228 now. How high will it get? Oh, there you go. Wait till it's still 91 damage, then go uber overkill. How lovely. Short stack. <laughs> I mean, I guess I might as well. And pumpkin pie is always fun. Teleport back to the top. Time to crumble the wall. Oh, especially with this starter. Yeah, consider it over. And it goes again. Too bad all this damage is going to be sunken on a minion. Damn, because it would have been a one-turn kill. All right, next time. It was more fun to use the 049. As much as I want to shoot where pumpkin pie is, I got to shoot where the crits are instead. All right, that's pretty good. Love it. Anyways, these are all not great, but I guess Sapper Sack is the best of them. Helps out against the uh, Minesweeper boss. I got the dragon, okay. I wonder if Excavarite would increase this buff. I know it says debuffs, but I think there was a time where either it was bugged to increase the enemy buffs, or maybe just like the wording didn't actually reflect what it did. But it increased the enemy's buff. I don't want to find out. Ouch. Hold the money. Well, so I like the dragon fight due to the sheer number of coins it has. There's always an exciting silver lining. Hey, you want to, like, crit? Okay, another shot at it. Uh, any minute now. Asshole. Fine, this'll do better. Yeah, good enough. That's the damage I'm used to. Do I want to create coins? Honestly, I don't think it'll pay off. I also think it's a little too slow. Oh, it's always a good day when you start with a reorganizer. Can't really get much better than that. I think that would be better would be actually wiping out the enemy. 757. Sounded like a freaking airplane up here. Oh, did I just waste that damage? I think I did. Right, between everything, Reorganizer is the juice. Can I hit some bombs, please? As in several bombs. Actually, no, I only need just one. Yeah. Two would be nice, though. There, right, thank you. Doesn't get to throw the god orb. Oh, well. I keep hoarding. Yeah, kind of an icky start to begin with. So red bombs are just going to do all the heavy lifting now. Please detonate a second one. Son of a bitch. Ow. You shouldn't have done that, you know. No crits, no bombs. It's a tough time. Okay. There we go. I'm going to need some nice healing soon. Oh, it's you. I do kind of like that this fight just has a very different objective. Bold Orb's pretty useless here, huh? Funny how it happens. Just bounce it around. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, that is so satisfying. Look at it go! I've never had a run that well. Oh, we could go again. Round two, bitch. Ah, uh, I didn't make it. Still sick. Oh, that is so satisfying. I mean, I love this fight. I can't believe there's people out there that don't love that fight. It's such a good time. Okay, this better be exciting. So far, it's not off to a great start. And it's off to a not great finish. Oh, at least I still get to apply the effects on them. Okay, this is what really matters here. Stockpiling crits. Hitting a bomb would make it excellent. One bomb. One red bomb. That's all I need. And then I just win on the spot. Nope. I'll just guarantee I get a win here with the Bulldorp, huh? Sweet. Oh, another one. Yeah, but it makes the one I have worse by spending money. Yeah, I think that's how it should be done. Collect the coins and contribute to damage? Sure. Or coins energy. Do I want the shop or the question mark? You know what? I'll just shoot it here and see where it goes. I'm actually indifferent to either. So the shop could have that one relic that makes, like, coins during navigation be worth more. And I would take that. I didn't get it. I could also thin my deck. Yeah, removing a stone is always a positive thing. Even worth splurging. But I cannot splurge forever. Push mark nodes have a, an increased 7% chance to be a treasure node. I'm not having many of those, am I? I will have one. If it's a treasure node, I will praise Orbert. Otherwise, mental mantles, good. Oh, Mask of Sorrow would normally be good with round roll, but it's kind of outclassed already. I still think removing an orb is better than the money, and I think I might not even get sand arrows, because that's not the point of the build. The build has the, a point. I'm not trying to deviate from said point. Well. It's a 760. I mean, did I really need more damage? Be honest. Perfect. I'll just skip. Oh, it's a 2050. Well, that would be great if Bulldorb didn't exist. Because Bulldorb's just gonna make that 2050 obsolete. Right? As long as it hits a crit. Which it's uh, not doing. It's not even hitting a bomb. Okay, there we go. At least it hit a bomb. Eh, it was kind of sad, not gonna lie. Okay, I think I killed most of the enemies anyway. So it's not that bad. Am I just won? It did. I've hoarded all this money. I want to see the dragon. Choke mod. Bombs apply spin faction one when damaging enemies. Not this kind of build. Not even bombs in the dragon fights, are there? There might be like two. Like puppet. I'm built up to max, it's a 2356. I mean, yeah, I'll send it. I'll see what sort of damage this does. Against the dragon boss? Not even a thousand, okay, that's fine. We all know it's about the reorganizer anyway. Better crit, uh, thank you. Good. I do believe I need more crits and refreshes. Okay, so now is where it gets spicy. Reorganizer here is here to save the day, change everything, build up mega super damage. Pretty good damage. Oh, you know Boldy's got to bring it home. Come on, Boldy. You can do it. Be a good rock. Damn, so close. Let's check on maybe the coin one. Ooh, the coins come up. It's a 289. Okay, let's hype. Honestly, no spectacular damage here, but the deck was good enough that it didn't matter. But I got to see the new coin orb. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More new Peglin stuff coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.